All right, praise the Lord, everybody. Hope and prayer, everybody's having an awesome Sunday. Amen. This is our evening broadcast. Now, coming to you audio only this afternoon, and I just want to say we had an awesome time this morning and watched the Spirit of God move in a mighty way, and we continue to believe and trust God that He will do a mighty work continually in lives and souls of men and women. We continue to ask you to pray for the country, ask you to pray for the nation, that God will have his way and divine will be done in our country and our nation around as many of you know the tragedy happened yesterday the shooting uh, and so we pray continually for those that were involved uh, from uh, former President Trump to those families and others they will uh, get speedy recovery and those we born for those that lost their lives as well and so our nation needs prayer our city uh, our Really, the entire world needs prayer. Again, and we know that uh, we continue to lift them up and trust God for, again, God's divine will and presence to be done in each and every single life. Uh, again, men and women need to be saved. They need to be saved. They need to be delivered. They need to be transformed by the renewal of the mind. When the mind is renewed, it makes all the difference. Amen. Salvation makes all the difference. And that will absolutely change our world when we see men and women saved by almighty God. Before I begin, I want to give an opportunity to give unto the Lord as well. Uh, we ask you to continue to support the work of God uh, again through, and we say thank you for those that do. And uh, though if you have yet to start, amen, you have ways of doing it. And it's through our church website at www.myntcc.org forward slash Brooklyn, New York. You can go there and you can find a way to give unto the Lord. Uh, again, uh, it says up there, make a gift. And then we have a text to give at 347-229-9933. You can give unto the Lord that way as well. Uh, you, you click the link uh, once you send off a text to that phone number, and it will give you a link to set up your account. Once you set it up, you can come back around and then um, be able to uh, uh, give, type the amount in, and it will receive it out of your account. All right, and then we have... Zell, Zell, that's becoming more and more popular because I get it, it takes that way to fee. We, the church gets charged a fee with those other platforms, but the Zell, there's no fee, dollar for dollar. So when you give, every dollar that comes, you give will go straight to the church instead of a portion of it going to the company. And so um, we encourage you to maybe start using Zell or, or you know, even giving directly uh, through cash or through check. All right, but the Zell is the church email. NTCC Brooklyn NY at gmail.com. NTCC Brooklyn NY at gmail.com. All right, folks, I, I want to piggyback. We, one verse that we left off this morning, didn't get a chance to give it to. I was firing off so many verses, but I get a chance to give it this last piece I want to give you. Uh, it was found in the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel of Luke. And it was we, we continue to piggyback about the presence or the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord. And, and really, uh, if you think about it, God is all powerful. He's almighty and he's all knowing today. So we need God's power. We need it right now. Amen. So without God's power, we can do nothing without his power. We are weak. We, we have no, no, no moving of our beings and we need power in our lives. And so I want to read Luke chapter 5, verse 17. Uh, well, really, 16 and 17. How about that? The Bible says, and, and he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by him, which were come out of every town of the Galilee and, and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. I want to read verse 17 again. He says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law, sitting by, which were come out of the, every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. So a little bit today, we want to focus in on this, about the power of of the Lord. The power of the Lord brings forth healing. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight. 
for your goodness, your mercy, God, your love. God, we ask you, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, God, you can just meet every need, accomplish your divine work and divine will, let it be done. God, we just bless you and honor you, God, this evening. And God, do a mighty work, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The presence of the Lord. In the song we say sometimes about the presence of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. I can feel it in the atmosphere and you can feel his presence. And we don't always go by feelings, but it's awesome to feel the power of Almighty God. The power of God moving and, and, and dwelling and, and, and circulating all throughout the area, throughout the church, in your presence, in your life, wherever it may be. It's awesome to experience and know these things. As we find again in, our, in the word of God, the Bible says without his presence, we can do nothing. Without his power, we can do nothing. Without his spirit, we can do nothing. We need the Lord every day of our lives. We need him in our, in our, in our midst. We need him, no doubt, in the morning, in the noontime. We need him. Amen. And so we need the power of Almighty God. Scripture tells us, he tells us here that he was was in prayer. We see and, and understand that Jesus through prayer, through the power of prayer, we see Jesus and how they, he re, really, really could not do anything without the power of prayer. He couldn't do it without the presence of his Father and the Holy Spirit resting upon him, even though he was God in the flesh. It shows us the power of prayer and the power in which we need, no doubt, again, through prayer. Prayer is a communication line. And a communication line, we cannot afford to cut that power line. That's a power line to heaven. That's a power line to the glory. That's a power line to the kingdom of God. Jesus prayed. He sought the Father's face while here on earth. Again, because again, he was now detached from it, even though he was all powerful, all knowing. But again, he was setting the example and showing us the, the need to pray. He was in an earthly form as well. He was in an earthly form, and so naturally his flesh and, and naturally the things of being a human would, would kick in. And so he showed us the way to overcome that, overcome our flesh, was through the power of prayer. And the Bible says he withdrew himself. He withdrew himself. You have to have power to withdraw yourself. Amen. The presence of the Lord, the power of God living in you will help you withdraw yourself. Sometimes you got to withdraw yourself from people, withdraw yourself from family, withdraw yourself from circumstances. Amen. And so he withdrew himself. You pray today, if you're in a bad environment, a bad atmosphere, a bad situation, you say, God, help me to withdraw myself. God, help me get out of this mess. And God will. You begin to withdraw yourself and say, start coming to church. Start coming to the Bible study. Start coming to the services. It'll keep you out of a whole lot of trouble. Amen. Will trouble immediately dissipate? Again, well, it helps. Because you get stronger, you get wiser, and again, you continue to grow in Almighty God. You get strong, uh, uh, more powerful, back to what we were talking about. The power of getting stronger means even to get more powerful in your walk with God. Amen. You'll learn how to exercise power. You'll learn how to use the power of the Lord. The Bible says here that the presence of the Lord was uh, with him. And so the scripture tells us as he prayed, he withdrew himself and he came and it came to pass. However, on certain days and so there will be certain days you have to exercise that power. You have to use that power. Amen. And so because you have prayed, because you have sought the Lord, because you have read your Bible, no doubt you can overcome. The Bible says as, as he was teaching, there was a Pharisees and doctors and lawyers uh, of the law sitting by him. Amen. And from people from all walks of life, the Bible talks about from Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, all walks of life. Amen. And it does not matter who you may be around or who you may be surrounded by. People that seem more intellectually uh, intelligent uh, are intimidating. Again, with authority and power, it does not matter. When the power of God is with you, it does not matter. Amen. And God will show up, show up and show out. Amen. Through you, by you, amen, and for you tonight. The Bible says the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And so we see, again, whether it was sickness, whether it was disease, whether it was mentally, physically, amen, it did not matter. It did not matter whether it was, again, a spiritual condition, sinful condition. God is able to, our, our presence and his power is able to heal. Many times people don't realize sin is a, is a thing, no doubt, that can be uh, helped 
to where you can be healed. And so I'm looking at it as a spiritual healing to where no doubt you have been delivered. Something's been cut away out of your life. That removing and, and the taking away of that spiritual cancer called sin. And it's able absolutely to wash you and thoroughly make you whole through the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to dwell in us. His name means Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. And so when God's presence, he came to uh, let man experience his presence. Man felt his presence uh, periodically. Man felt his presence through the prophets, sometimes through prayer. But you know what? Now he was dwelling among the people. The presence of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the power, amen, of his goodness was there in the midst of them all. We shared with him this morning. He became flesh and walked among us. And you know what? The presence of the Lord is here. He's here and we thank God for his goodness and his mercy. And when it's there, when it's there, good things happen. And so we see in this particular passage, great things happen. People were being healed. We're getting from the lame, as you later on read a little bit later on down. People who had withered hands, people who were blind, people who were deaf, people who were mute. Jesus was healing all of them. The presence of the Lord was there. Amen. In church of the day, God can bring full healing. We have to invite his presence. We have to allow his presence to absolutely move in our lives. And when we do that, brothers and sisters today, the power of the Lord will definitely heal every soul, every sin sick individual, everyone that will call on the name of the Lord. We, tonight we begin to encourage you to seek the Lord's face, to seek his face and ask, and that's what you do, you ask for his presence, you ask for him to move, you ask for him to dwell in you, you ask for the Holy Ghost as we mentioned, amen, you ask for again the power of God, you ask for him to do his mighty work in your life. And amen, he will enter in. I remember uh, uh, Moses said this. He says, Lord, I don't even want to go forward without your presence. If it's not with me, I don't want to go. I don't want to breathe. I don't want to do it. I cannot do it. It's what Moses had told him over in the Old Testament. He said, hey, I need your spirit. As the old song is saying, I need thee every hour. Oh, Lord, I need thee. Come now and bless me. Come now and help me. Come now and meet my need. And God is able. And that's what he came to do. When he came to the earth, he came to meet every need. That he wanted men and women experience to see and absolutely take advantage of his presence. And you know what? Today, we perhaps don't see him physically. We don't see him uh, uh, again in the natural. But oh, brothers and sisters, today, if you look around, spiritually speaking, you can experience and feel him in the supernatural. My friend today, his presence is even much stronger now. And the Bible tells even how we are even more blessed because we believe, yet we have not seen him. We we, we, we believe, yet we have not physically touched him as Thomas did. He says, blessed are those that well, I have not seen, but yet no doubt experience the goodness of salvation today. Brothers and sisters today, experience it. Let the presence of the Lord dwell with you. Let the presence of the Lord go with you throughout this week. We don't know what this week's going to bring, my friend. We don't know what this week may uh, 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 and the things that may encounter this week. But what we do know is, is that God amen, will be present. We can share with you out when two or three gather in his name, he's there. But even in that, he told us, he said, I'll go with you. And I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's there when we meet together as a congregation. But he'll go with you every which way. That you may go as well. Again, he says, I'll go with you. I'll be with you. I'll cover you. He watches over us and he sends angels to, ch ch to encamp around and about us. He sends angels. He sends, no doubt, his Holy Spirit. And that's why it's important to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. To walk in the Spirit. To be filled with the Spirit. And when we do this, no doubt it, it, it is undeniably so. That, again here, his presence will be manifested. My friend today, if you don't know Jesus Christ, invite him in. He wants to come in and dwell with you. He wants to be present in your life. Many times people allow God to be absent from their lives. Absent from the scene. Absent from their daily business. But today we encourage you to invite him in. Invite him into the home. I like what he told Nicodemus at that time. Oh, excuse me, Zacchaeus at that time. He says, Zacchaeus, come on down to that tree. I need to go to your house today. 
I need to go to your house. I'm coming. That you can be a partaker. You can be a partaker of salvation. I want to come to your house today. The Bible says in Zacchaeus made haste, ran down, and no doubt to lead Jesus to his house. And the Bible says in his house was saved. His house was saved because Jesus showed up. Naban, we see it out in your life as well. When Jesus shows up, his saving power through the blood of Jesus Christ. What he did on the cross nearly 2,000 years ago, and that's why he really came, was to give his life. The miracles, awesome. The, the, the blessings that he gave, awesome. But it was nothing like the salvation. To save our soul. We were spiritually void. We were spiritually lost. We were spiritually empty. But his presence and the blood of Jesus Christ is able to feel, and no doubt, feel that void, feel an empty life, feel an empty room that we are cased in, this old empty heart without Christ. Tonight we thank God for Jesus and the cross. Today, accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Give him your heart. Give him your soul. Give him your spirit. The Lord, our God, is able to keep you every day. Brothers and sisters, they invite Jesus in. You ask the Lord, say, Lord, come into my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died and you rose again from the grave. Believe by your spirit and your presence. You're able to save and deliver. Lord, I ask you by your Holy Ghost power that you would meet every need accomplish your will and your work in my life. Save me today. I believe that you're the son of God. You died on the cross for me. With your blood, please wash away all my sins. And the Lord greatly will. He will come in. Amen. And save you right now. Today, receive salvation. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you're the seeking the Lord and needing the Holy Ghost, you pray for salvation. Now, seek the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will go with you and be with you. And empower you. You'll feel his presence. Amen. In the times. At all times. You'll know he's near. You'll know. That he's with you. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. It'll help you. It'll guide you just as if. The Lord no doubt is right there in the room. Receive the Holy Ghost as well. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, today for this goodness, for your word. God, we pray that God, each one, will invite you in, let you in, walk in your spirit, walk in the power of your might. God, accomplish your divine will and your divine work. Let it be done in every life. And God, whatever the days may bring ahead, we pray that each one will learn and know to walk in you, to walk in your midst, in your presence, to walk. In the things of God, Lord, we pray, keep each one, bless each one. Careful to give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless our prayer. We look forward to seeing you this Tuesday night at 730. Come on out and be with us. May the Lord truly bless you as I pray. God bless.